This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how long it takes for bones to heal. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So how long does it take bones to heal? You're looking at around two months, plus or minus, depends where it is in the body, and it depends how old you are. Two months, plus or minus, is generally real thumb for adults. For kids, it's usually a little bit less. As for little kids, sometimes you can get away with four or five weeks. Um, but again, it depends where the fracture is. Um, if the bones are not aligned enough, then it might never heal at all, which we call a non-union. Um, or if the bone heals in a bad spot, like where it's bent or angling, we call that a malunion, which can create its own problems. Um, there's certain areas that take longer, like if you break your scaphoid bone, which is a small bone in your wrist, that can be more like three months. Um, but general rule of thumb is about two months for most bone breaks, plus or minus. If you've broken your bone, usually that means you're in a splint for a week or two, and then if Either you need surgery or you get casted. Casting is normally about six weeks, so you get about two months total of a mobilization. Um, even with surgery, when let's say you break, your, you break a bone and they put a plate and screws on and get that bone aligned perfectly, the bone still needs time to heal. So the, what the surgery does is it aligns the bone perfectly so that it will heal properly, but it's not healed. So that means that let's say you break your forearm, you can't just plate your forearm and go back to doing things. You still need to wait two months for it just to heal and it, it to heal itself even though everything's aligned perfectly. So not kind of no matter what you do, it takes about that time. And again, some areas that uh, will go on never to heal, the, the, if you just leave them alone. The wrist bone, if you don't get surgery on it, like a scaphoid is one of them. Sometimes you can break your fifth metatarsal on your foot, and depending on where you break it, that might not heal ever. So just some, just depends on where you hurt it. So I hope I was able to answer your questions about how long does it take for bones to heal. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. But I can't give you specific medical advice uh, over YouTube. Um, if you like this video, again, we put out new content weekly. So please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.